Max, you got to talk to your mom and dad yet about the touchdown? I did. I saw him right after the game. Um, it was a pretty special moment throwing that touchdown to Jake. Me and him have been kind of waiting on that one for a long time. We haven't thrown a touchdown since uh, my senior year in high school, so it was pretty special. What was the uh, touchdown your senior year in high school to him? And was it kind of comparable to this one in the same type of routes or concepts? You talking like the last, like my last your touchdown? Your last touchdown him? to him when you were in high school. <clears throat> I honestly can't remember what it was, honestly. I think it was, it was actually a, a whip route in the uh, state championship game, so. We'll go second row on the right side to Christy and then Olin. I know as a backup, you have to always be ready to go in. But when you're thrown into the game like that, does it does it help having your brother out there to kind of make you more comfortable and kind of ease things up? Uh, I mean, honestly, I wasn't really nervous at all. I mean, I've been in these situations before. And uh, I feel like myself, like I've always been, um, I was excited to be out there with those guys. I feel like we did a great job of uh, going out there and executing. And of course, it was really fun to be out there with Jake. We'll stay on the second row to Olin and then Brent. Max, I'm sure it had to hurt some, it's, to some level when uh, uh, they decided to go with Connor. How do you uh, get over that kind of disappointment and be able to stay focused and be able to come out and perform like you did today? Um, I feel like I just did my best and of, you know, um, getting mental reps when he was going and, and then when I was going, get the, getting those reps. Um, I think I just did a good job of, you know, listening to our coaches and letting them uh, call the plays. And then uh, they taught me the reads, and I feel like I just went out there and ex executed. We'll stay on the second row to Brent and then Travis. What What did you say to Jake after right after the touchdown, and what did he say in return? I think the first thing I said was, "I love you, man." I thought just like it's been a long time coming, and um, that was pretty special. It was like a beer commercial. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> so, uh, and, and have you visited with Connor? How's he doing, and so forth on that front? I think he's doing good. Um, I think he met with the doctors. I haven't really talked to him that much. Um, I talked to him a little bit after the game. I think he's doing well, though. So, We'll go front row on the right side to Travis and then Sam. Yeah. As, a, as a backup quarterback, and especially I mean, today, what does that look like kind of uh, in the mechanics of, of seeing a guy get hurt to the point where you're now in the huddle and taking things over? I mean, I was in these situations um, last year, uh, the year before that at LSU. I've, I've been in a lot of situations, and I feel like I've learned from everything that I've you know, been and gone through. So I think I was, I was ready for the moment. Yeah, well, I mean, and just what does that, uh, you know, do, do you see it? Do you go over to a coach? Kind of mechanically, what does that look like on the sidelines when you know you're going from watching to, to going into the game? I mean, I'm, it definitely does change, such as like talking to Coach Petrino, talking to Coach Fisher, and um, making sure we're all on the same page. We'll go fourth row on the left side on the aisle to Sam and then Kirk. Max, how much does it help? Because in, in a situation where there's injury, there a lot of times you'll come in in the middle of the si series, middle of the drive. How much did it help that you actually had halftime to kind of get a little bit of a plan together before you went out there? That was kind of big time. Um, being able to like go in and warm up and then uh, make sure we're all on the same, same page with Coach Petrino. He, had a, he came in there during halftime, kind of talked to us and uh, made sure we all had you know the same read, same execution. Um, sorry, not execution, but the same ideas. So. And how much fun was it just out there? Because I know you've been with this team for more than a year, but you guys have got some more weapons on offense now. How much fun is it to just operate this offense with the talent level you have around you? Yeah, we got some studs um, everywhere around the board. A running back, receiver, uh, O-line blocked their butts off today. I had a lot of time. Um, the defense played great. Uh, so it's, it's fun playing with the guys that make plays after they catch the ball. We'll stay on that fourth row and then go to Kirk. What's kind of, what are you saying to uh, the rest of your offense as you're about to go out there for the second half? What are you saying in the first huddle when you know you have to go in and be a leader at that point when not playing the first half? 100%. I was just like, this thing does not slow down. Um, keep blocking those butts off, and we're going to go put it in the end zone. This thing is not slowing down. So We'll move to the third row on the left side. Did you ever think about leaving when you didn't get the starting job? Never. How come? Um, I mean, this is where I want to be. I got I got to. Um, get an awesome degree here, and uh, this is where I want to be. I love the coaches, love the players, I love this university, and this is where I want to be. We'll go back behind the lights to TV Row to Ben and then Daryl. Back here, Max. Uh, Sam took my better question. So I'll ask, uh, you know, for the guys who've been with the program for a while, uh, you know, obviously quarterback luck in terms of injuries has been just kind of a, a bugaboo lately. Just what did you talk about as a team to not like? We're going to be OK. Let's not feel sorry for ourselves. Let's go and finish this job and not kind of let that here we go again kind of creep in. I guess, yeah, that was our motto. It was just like not next play, not the play behind us, this play that we're in. I think that was just kind of like um, 
you know, be in the moment. And um, I think just the way we came out and executed and Coach Petrino dialed up some plays and um, the receivers made some plays. So I think that was fun. And, um, you know, I'm just glad we came out with the win. We'll stay back behind the lights and go to the left side to Daryl and then Naomi. Max, what was it like to be on the sideline when at times the offense was sputtering, but you didn't see the defense sputter much at all today? I mean, and they have majorly, majorly turned the page since that Miami game two weeks ago. Yeah, the defense played awesome. I mean, they shut them out. We had the fumble for a touchdown, but, you know, the defense played great. I don't, I'm not sure how many sacks they had. Um, so they shut them down. But um, I think the way the defense encouraged the offense and the offense encouraged each other, we all had each other's backs. And um, so that's kind of how it was. We'll go front row on the left side to Naomi and then Mark. So with your whole mentality about, you know, this thing isn't slowing down, your first two drives, you know, resulted in a touchdown. And then you all kind of had punt, fumble punt. You know, like, what did you kind of tell yourself to just get right back in there? I mean, I guess just do what we do. We do it every day in practice. And uh, Coach Petrino had confidence in us to keep making plays. He never slowed down his play calling. And, uh, you know, our O-line did a great job of uh, coming through at the end with a great, you know, run blocking. And uh, so it turned out well. We'll stay on the front row to Mark on the left side. Uh, Max, I was going to ask you about your other touchdown pass. Uh, put it right through double coverage, put it right on his hands. What were you seeing that make you, made you feel confident on that read? And, so on, you're talking about going to Evan? So that one was not double coverage. It was uh, pretty much quarters coverage. And that safety um, was covering the, uh, a corner route. And he ended up doing a, a pretty much a 360 and ended up coming back on that post. But Evan did a really good job kind of slipping inside of him and making that catch. We'll go second row on the right side to Brandon. Then Sam will wrap us up. I've seen a lot of things over the years. But I'm not sure I've ever seen a guy go backward in eligibility. That was kind of cool. So what went into that and saying, hey, I'm going to claim the COVID year and be a sophomore? All I mean, again? I think that just. Um, is where I am, whether that's however, more, however many more years it is or I, I don't know what it is. So I'm just uh, taking one day at a time, taking one play at a time, and um, that's just where I am. You were a sophomore when you beat A&M two years ago. I was a sophomore. So it's crazy how the co whole COVID thing and uh, the red shirt last year since my broken thumb, but it's crazy how, how many guys are getting years back. So We'll go fourth row on the left side to Sam to wrap us up. Max, what have you thought of the run game so far and, and how those guys are coming along? I think we've picked it up. Um, over the past couple games, O-line did a really good job. Um, Bryce Foster's done a really good job of ID and the mics, and um, the whole line's on the same page, and the running backs are making some great cuts. All right, that's all we have, Max. Thank you. Sweet. Thank you.